All right, good morning and welcome to the committee of Land News. I am Councilmember Rafael Salamanca, the chair of this committee. I would like to welcome my esteemed colleagues who are members of the committee and are present today. We have Council Members Gibson, Barron, Deutsch, King, Kuhl, Le Miller, uh, Richards, Traeger, Gredenchik, Adams, Chair Moya, and Rivera, and Chair Adams, I'm sorry, Chair Adams. Um, I first, I want to thank Chair Moya and Chair Adams for their work on our land use subcommittees. Today, from our land, land, landmark subcommittee, we'll be voting on 15 individual landmarks designations and two HPD applications. The individual landmark designations include six individual landmark designations related to the history of the LGBT movement, LU's 490, the Gay Activist Alliance Firehouse, former engine company number 13 in Council Member Chin's district in Manhattan. LU's 491, Cafe Sino, LU's 492, the Women's Liberation Center, LU's 493, the Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, and Transgender Community Center, all located in the Speaker's District in Manhattan. LU's 494, the James Baldwin Residence, located in Councilmember Rosenthal's District in Manhattan, and LU's 495, Andre Lord Residence in Councilmember Rose District in Staten Island. Seven individual landmark designations located on Broadway below 14th Street in Councilmember Rivera's district in Manhattan, LU's 481, the 817 Broadway building, LU's 482, the 826 Broadway building is now the, the Strand building, LU's 483, the 830 Broadway building, LU's 484, the 832 834 Broadway buildings, LU's 485, the 836 Broadway building, LU's 486, the 8 40 Broadway building and LU's 487, the Roosevelt building. And two additional land, individual landmark designations, LU's 488, the National S Society of Colonial Dames in the state of New York headquarters located in Councilmember Powell's district in Manhattan. And LU's 489, the first Hungarian Reformed Church located in Councilmember Kalos's district in Manhattan. We'll also vote to approve preconsiders LUs 510, the Bronx Point NCPF UDAP submitted by HPD pursuant to Article 16 of the General Municipal Law 4. Approval of the designations of an urban development action area for property located at Block 2356, Lot 2 and 72, Block 2539, Lot 1, and parts of Lots 2 and 3, and a DMAP portion of East 150th Street in the Bronx and approval of an urban development action area project for such area. The proposed action would facilitate new pub publicly accessible open space along the Harlem River waterfront as part of a new mixed use development that would include approximately 1,044 units of, of affordable housing, commercial and community facility space. The project is located in Councilmember Ayala's district. We will also vote to approve pre-considered LUs 511, the Brownsville South project for property located in council members uh, Barron and Espinal in Brooklyn. This application submitted by the HPD pursuant to Article 16 of the General Municipal Law and Section 197C of the New York City Charter is for the designation of property located at 47 New Lots Avenue, 609-615 Osborne, Osborne uh, Street and 120-122 Liberty Avenue as an urban development action area. Approval of an urban development area project for such area and approval for the disposition of such properties to a developer selected by HPD. To facilitate the construction of these residential developments containing approximately 41 affordable dwelling units and commercial space. From our zoning subcommittee, we'll vote to approve OU uh, 530, the Hummus Kitchen application for revocable consent for a sidewalk, sidewalk cafe for property in Council Member Rivera's district in Manhattan. The size of the cafe has been adjusted in response to community concerns from four tables to 10 chairs to four tables and eight chairs. We'll also vote to approve LUs 508, 509, the Kew Gardens Hill rezoning proposal for property in Council Member Lansman's district in Queens. The proposal would rezone portions of existing R2 districts to an R2X district and would include a related zoning tax amendment to allow such districts to be mapped in Queens Community Board 8. The proposed R28 zoning would establish contextual bulk regulations in order to maintain the area's existing bill character. We'll also vote to approve LUs 517, the 3513 Atlantic Avenue rezoning proposal for property in Council Member Espinal's district in Brooklyn. The proposal would establish a C2-4 commercial overlay district within an existing R5 district along the northern front frontage of the Atlantic Avenue between Nicholas and Grand Avenues in order to facilitate construction of a one-story retail building. Are there any questions or remarks from members of the committee? 
All right, seeing none, I will now call for a vote in accordance with the recommendations of the subcommittees to approve LU's numbers 481, 482, 484, 485, 486, 487, 488, 489, 490, 491, 492, 493, 494, 495, 508, 509, 517, 530, and pre-considered numbers 510 and 511. Will the clerk please call the roll? William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on land use. All items are coupled. Chair Salamanca. Aye and all. Gibson. Yes, Barrett. Permission to explain my vote? Councilmember Barrett to explain her vote. Thank you. Uh, I just want to call my colleagues' attention to land use 511. Two of the sites are located in my district, and I just want to commend the land use committee and those who were working on this project for coming up with a final uh, offering that was acceptable to me. The initial proposal had 50% of the units at 50% of the AMI and below, and that was great, but then it had about 47% at 80% of the AMI, and that was not good. And uh, in working on the compromise, they wanted to remove the elevator from the four-story building, and that was not acceptable to me, and the final conclusion that we came up with is the elevator does remain in the four-story building, and there are only 25% of the units at 80% uh, AMI, so I want to thank all of those who worked diligently in making that happen, and I vote aye on all. Deutsch. Aye on all. King. Aye on all. Koo. Aye on all. Levin. Aye on all. Miller. Aye on all. Richards. Traeger. Aye. Gordinchik. Aye. Adams. Aye on all. Diaz. Aye. Moya. Aye. Rivera. Permission to explain my vote? Councilmember Rivera to explain her vote. Thank you so much. Uh, this package of buildings uh, is very, very important to the preservation movement in my district and in my community whose advocates have asked that the city landmark these buildings for years and years. I'm glad to see it through today as we continue to look in my district for amazing architecture and the history behind them. And I want to just say how much I appreciate all of you for your support. I vote aye. Richards. Vote aye. I vote a 15 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. Thank you. So if you guys can just remain, we have one more motion. Um, I, uh, I now make a motion for the committee to, el to elect that pursuant to section 25-115 of the New York City Administrative Code, the Department of City Planning's pre-application process will not apply to a zoning text amendment that we are directing land use staff to prepare. The text amendment will prohibit jail use on Rikers Island and the Vernon C. Bain Center after a date certain. This motion is about the waiver to the pre-application process so that our staff can focus its efforts on the drafting of the text amendment. The actual approval of the filing of the zoning text amendment would be the subject of a future vote. Does anyone second this motion? Council on Chair Moya seconds the motion. It is moved and seconded that pursuant to section 25-115 of the New York City Administrative Code, the Department of City Planning pre-application process will not apply to a zoning text amendment that we are directing land use staff to prepare. The text amendment will prohibit jail use on Rikers Island and the Vernon C. Bain Center after a certain date. Uh, is there a debate? Does anyone wish to debate this motion? All right, seeing none, I now call on a vote to adopt the motion. A vote of aye is a vote to in favor of adoption of the motion. Those opposed say no. Clerk, please call the roll. Chair Salamanca. Aye. Miller. Aye. Moya. Aye. Rivera. Aye. Gibson. Aye. Barron. Aye. Deutsch. King. Koo. Aye. Levin. Aye. Richards. Aye. Traeger. Aye. Gordinchik. Aye. Adams. Aye. I vote of 12 in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions. Motion has passed. All right, I would, like to th I would like to thank members of the public, my colleagues, council, and line staff for attending today's hearing. This meeting is hereby adjourned.